So, on Samsung phones, soon you'll be able to choose a solid color as your wallpaper, but then you'll be able to change its saturation to get a different shade of that color. And on top of that, you'll be able to apply one of these patterns. And this will potentially let you create unlimited number of wallpapers by just changing the colors, the saturation, and the pattern. And just like that, Samsung has added a few new things to its latest One UI 5 beta version. It's not much, but there are a few cool things. Let me take you through it. If you notice, the clock on the lock screen animates itself. So when you lock, the time sort of goes, animates, and sits somewhere else. And the same happens when you turn on the lock screen. But the biggest update is the ability to edit the lock screen from the lock screen itself. So if you long press the screen, it'll allow you to make edits right there. And so if you see, everything is editable here. For example, the shortcuts on the left and the right, I can remove and I can just add anything else or any app as a shortcut. You can decide the clock type between digital and analog. And then within digital, you can choose the font. So there's quite a few available right here and you can choose a solid or a gradient color in case you want to change that and even apply like a custom color of your choice. You can also customize the notification style from here itself. So you could choose between just icons or details. Again, you could do all of this earlier, but now you can do that from the lock screen. And you can make changes to the set of wallpapers that you've chosen to cycle through on the lock screen. So I could just go ahead, add some wallpapers or remove some wallpapers. And then when I cycle through, they're going to be available. So there you go. I just added that one and that one, that's it. Now, it might seem like a lot of these features are borrowed from the iOS 16 on the iPhone, but let me assure you, all of this existed on Samsung phones a couple of years ago uh, in the Good Lock app. It's just that they're making it official now with One UI 5. If you go into your phone's gallery, there's a Stories tab. I don't know if you've ever explored that, but it pretty much takes up highlights from your album and creates a video out of it. They look better now and you have the ability to go backward and forward by just tapping on the left and the right. You couldn't do that earlier. And additionally, if you swipe up, you get a quick preview of what photos were used to generate this story. And at the end of the story, you now recommended another story to watch. I mean, I'm not really sure how many of you really use stories on the Samsung Gallery, but it's there now if you do use it. Another change to your gallery is the Albums tab. So it's split into your albums, and then the shared albums. The album name is pushed into the cover photo of that album. If you look at the old one, it was outside. But yes, it does take two steps now to get to your album if it's not in the first nine album set. Another change is in the wallpaper section. So if you long press and go into wallpapers, you'll see this redesigned drawer. You've got categorical rows that contain wallpaper previews. And again, this is a lot like what I saw in iOS 16. So. There is a bit of similarity there. Also, if you go all the way down, you'll see this nice preview of stuff you've purchased or downloaded from the Galaxy theme store. And again, as I pointed out in the beginning of the video, you can now set a solid color as your wallpaper on the lock screen and the home screen. And it pretty much creates a combination for you. So let's say that, you know, you make changes to the lock screen and then once you're all set, it would apply it to the home screen and the lock screen. So they sort of look very coherent when you unlock. And lastly, there's a new functionality added to when you're setting a wallpaper. So if you go and set this as wallpaper, you choose home screen, it's gonna give you a few filters that you can choose from to just, you know, change the wallpaper tone a bit uh, to better suit your icons and the entire theme. Now, one of the major changes that they've done is they've removed the support for multi-user login. So earlier, you could have a profile for your kids, a profile for your parents, and you could switch between them when you gave the phone to them. But that's going away with this launch of One UI 5. It may come back as an update, but I don't know. And that's pretty much it, guys. You know, but this update is mostly about fixing a lot of things, improvements, washing bugs. But in terms of real functionality that impacts you on a day-to-day -day basis, this is pretty much what I felt is there. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. It really helps the channel grow. I'll see you in the next one.